title, now in a brand new pack. We all know how important it is to live a balanced lifestyle that consists of a healthy diet and a good dose of daily exercise. Now, there are many reasons for this, but one of the most important ones is that including exercise into your daily schedule reduces your risk of metabolic syndrome. And since tomorrow is Move for Health Day, we thought that it'd be a good topic to talk about today with Andrea Duplessis from Vital. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a frog in my voice this morning. But metabolic syndrome, what exactly is that? It sounds scary. It is. You, you know, there's a combination of factors um, that affect your health with metabolic syndrome. Mm -hmm. um, and it links to insulin resistance, which basically links back to your blood sugar control. So you're looking at pre-diabetes pre or the risk of diabetes developing, mm -hmm. um, combined with high blood pressure and the risk for cardiovascular disease. So if you put all those factors together, it's really not a pretty picture yeah. with regards to health. Mm -hmm. And there was a study done recently that showed that regular exercise can reduce your risk of developing metabolic syndrome. In other words, these different conditions that all together really um, put, your, put you at risk mm. of, of having um, severe health problems, yes. Now, are there specific people that are at risk of metabolic syndrome? Well, it it's, um, typically happens as we get older, so it's not something that you would um, see in children. Mm -hmm. And there's also a link to obesity or the extent where you overweight, where it, it actually affects your health. Oh, wow. So that's where the exercise link comes in. Yeah. So by managing weight, um, that definitely helps to reduce your risk for high blood pressure. It reduces your risk for um, diabetes as mm -hmm. well. Um, it's all to do with a healthy lifestyle in the end then. Yes. Mm. Now when we talk about, let's say, I wanted to bring it back to the exercise. You said, are we saying that a daily dose of exercise is yes. good to reduce your risk? What kind of exercise are we talking about? Intense exercise? regular average you know little run around the block what, what are we talking about i think it's good to, to to know where to start because if you've never exercised before you can't start with an hour a day three times a week for instance at high intensity yeah. um so somebody who's never exercised can start with regular walks mm -hmm. if they can only manage 10 15 minutes a day that's that's fine um, but it's important to challenge yourself mm -hmm. slowly but surely to increase the duration and also the frequency yeah. and they say where you start is 30 minutes, three times a week is the minimum you should do. Wow. So, so if you've never exercised, build up to that quite quickly. Mm -hmm. And then the ideal, they say, is 30 to 60 minutes, five times a week. Okay. So you're looking at an hour, five times a week to really boost your health. Yeah, yes. and this is cardiovascular exercise that we're um, talking about. It can about. be a combination of exercise, mm -hmm. yes. And I think intensity is also important. And like I say, take it easy in the beginning as you get fit. Mm -hmm. But to really challenge yourself, many people think because they sweat in the gym, because they perspire, that they're working really hard. But the, what they don't realize is that it gets quite stuffy in the gym and they, there's not the air blowing on you yeah. factor that you get outside. Yeah. So It's more about getting that heart rate up. Yes, that getting makes the you heart sweat, rate up is, is really important. And that's exactly where you make the difference in losing weight mm -hmm. because we've all seen that little bits of moderate exercise is healthy mm -hmm. but it's not going to make you lose weight yes um, so you really have to challenge your body and, and burn that energy mm -hmm. and es especially also to reduce your um, blood pressure and to reduce your risk for diabetes that's where you need a bit more exercise mm -hmm. and gradually build up that intensity yeah. now when speaking about your body and paying attention to what it what it's responding to what are the signs that you should look out for symptoms if you will for for metabolic syndrome you know um the, the one thing that, um actually taking it to to where it often starts is where there's a problem with weight also so watching your weight if you if you notice weight gain that's something that you definitely can address with a healthy diet and exercise routine mm -hmm. and then with regards to blood sugar control that's something quite simple to test you can have your blood glucose levels tested they always recommend a fasting um, test. And then there are more complicated tests that you can do to establish whether you're insulin resistant, mm -hmm. um, so that you would go to your doctor for, for a referral. Um, and then blood pressure is something very simple to test. Uh, many people don't realize they've got high blood pressure. Yeah. And it's something that you can have done at your nearest pharmacy. Mm -hmm. um, at your pick and pay pharmacy, you can have your blood pressure tested, yes. Lovely. Okay, well, thank you very much, Andrea. Really appreciate it. As always, stunning health tips and also lifestyle tips, more importantly, from Andrea Dupassi. You're welcome to ask any questions you like on her Facebook page, Andrea Dupassi, Vital Expert. Vital, now in a brand new pack. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.